Okay, uh, going to show you how to edit splines. Uh, once you find them, <clears throat> you can see. Let's see, let's do the pedestrian. Now, if you notice, of course, when you try and click on them, they disappear. I'll show you how to do that. So all you gotta do is click on it, hit Control X, click anywhere in the scene graph, Control V, and you can now edit your splines. And if you want to make them walk over a hill, whatever you want to do. Anyway, that's all you gotta do. And then if you're not sure how to uh, do these, just make sure your east or your start and end points are pretty close together. Usually let them overlap, but, uh, and then of course, you know how I, you don't want them walking in the uh, ground. And you can do the insert key to add points. And of course the delete key will delete points. And your arrow keys will move your arrows. So that's all you got to do. And then when you get done, Take your spline, hit Control X, put it back in the scene graph where it was, Control V, and as you can see, you're back to nothing. <clears throat> and then of course, this works the same way if you want to create a spline. Let's say, same thing, so once you Do it. You can make your pedestrian spline if you want it pedestrian. Needs to be, you know, in this uh, the spelling. And then, uh, of course, again, when you get done, I'll show you. You put it here, and as you can see, you can't touch no more. So it has to be under the scene graph. I'm gonna delete that. Uh, same thing with uh, traffic. Mm, same way. You notice you can't do it. But of course, if I was to take it out, put it down here, I can touch it and edit it. Same thing. And you can make as many as these as you want. Just keep the name and numbers or you can do control D and create it. Make sure you change the name and the attributes to four and so on. And then of course you have to uh, put it back here and you see how it popped in there. So it doesn't really matter if it's, you know, under your parked car section, but I uh, generally just keep it the way it was so that's how you edit splines very simple hope this helps you if you want to see any more if i know how to do it i'll be glad to share it